Hello folks, welcome to the OP Investing. Today we're going to make the review of the major forex pairs for our upcoming week. And as we do always guys, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end because that's going to be, um, I hope, very uh, useful for you guys. Uh, because preparing yourself beforehand is one of the key aspects. So let's go to the weekly... Uh, weekly time frame and let's see as you can see uh, the price uh, we did have this kind of like the local high and this local low in the price is just uh, pullbacks but uh, actually this week already was touched uh, the key level and I saw that the price is just reversing to the downside but we did not have like uh, did not have that yet overall Compared to the previous week, we did have this break of um, break of structure, kind of like on the break of break of weekly candle, previous weekly candle. But overall, the prices ranges like there is no any clear thing. You know, like do do you see anything clear over here? Personally, I don't. So uh, no idea to be honest where the price is going. Like we are just stuck between. Uh, stuck between this low and this high guys this high uh just touched the this order block over here very perfectly and just have had the reaction but after that the price just went to the downside struggling to make the new lows and after that the, we didn't have the chance to break those lows so i'm looking forward for the price to either sweep those high and or break those lows those are the key points guys if we go to the four hourly time frame again the price is ranging so i what i would recommend you just go to the low time frames and trade according op method number uh three and four most of the times so i believe the upcoming days those methods are gonna perform best so uh moving to the AUD usd guys we did have these oh my god the bullish engulfing pattern is that a sign that the price is just reversing to the upside we did have this mitigation of this low so maybe we are indeed reversing to the upside maybe at least uh price wants to mitigate this imbalance over here so let's see on the daily time frame we are just completely pushing to the upside so the as you can see that imbalance has this order block guys so i'm expecting for the price to go to that order block and then just reverse to the downside but that that's more dependent on the macroeconomic uh, macroeconomic situation as well on the four hourly time frame guys uh what do we have actually the about the good patterns we just um used this one and see like to our time frame no this is not a break this is not a break actually guys this is not a break of uh breakout to the downside this is just um some random like this is a liquidity grab remember this is a liquidity grab and the real high over here is over here this is high this is potential low guys so um we can just draw our fib levels actually from that point to uh to this point guys uh because this pullback and liquidity grab this is just a range this is nonsense so uh maybe i'm expecting for the price to go to this 786 level have some reaction and reverse or maybe to went to those highs and then reverse to the downside or we can we can completely like just go to the upside break all of that come down and then just start the major up move trends gbp usd this boy is also reversing and i'm expecting like my expectation was this auto block and we already had the reaction from that and we did not completely reverse so the next point where i would like to see some reaction is this point 
over there going to the daily time frame guys um we can see that the price is just compressing over here the price is just compressing over here and maybe it will break to the upside and then just continue going uh till this point and then we we're gonna have some reversal maybe going to the four hourly time frame guys going to the four hourly time frame what is the structure over here overall if we look and that answer is gonna be that answer is gonna be that was it like this was the low this this was a low this was a high and we broke the structure over here actually and we did have the reaction from this like imbalance the price filled the imbalance and now it's going to the, the upside but to be honest on the even on the four hourly time frame there is nothing clear so why i would recommend you to go just to the 15 minute time frame and trade some op methods that's the best that's the best way to how to deal the mar market these days use the gpy wow oh my god yeah we did have this week uh we did have this week as we as you see we are seeing some reversal on these pairs over here and that's why we might anticipate some reversal on the usd gpy as well to the downside um very strong engulfing candle to the downside on the daily time frame in yeah just um if you see over here we did have this imbalance and such imbalances do not get filled completely most of the times uh so i'm expecting for the price next candle just to tap into this imbalance and start reversing from this imbalance to the downside this is an outlook for usd gpy for the upcoming week usd cat um if we just like you see we we did have this engulfing pattern uh, engulfing candle so the next uh, the next week we might also anticipate the engulfing candle to the downside maybe uh, we have to feel those imbalances over here and whatever like again strong bearish candle on the daily time frame going to the four hourly time frame yeah maybe um we did have again like the same story as usd gpy we do have this imbalance over here and i'm expecting for the price just to tap into this imbalance and just completely reverse to the downside for the upcoming days gold what is gold is offering over here um we are still waiting for this imbalance to get uh, oh my god i'm sorry to this um auto block to get filled i'm expecting still the same the same like view i'm expecting for this auto block over here to get filled and on the daily time frame we are just kind of like you know uh moving in some channel maybe we can have some where is the channels over here parallel channel oh. you see we are kind of like moving in the channel and i'm just expecting for the price to tap down like that's going to be the right the right like the high of this like it's going to be like 1570 something like that and after that maybe pull back maybe higher pull back even and then just uh final move to the downside to those lows maybe manipulation of the low of this channel and then just break to the upside guys that's 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 also like depends on the macroeconomical situation oh my god look at this <laughs> no movement like just a flat movements on the bitcoin uh, what do we actually have like uh if we go to the daily uh, weekly i'm still expecting for the price to go to those like 12k level 12k level should be reached guys that's gonna be like maybe bottom or something like that and 
the price in the upcoming uh upcoming days i believe there is going to be some movement to the upside to fill up this imbalance over here guys uh we did not even tap to this imbalance so i'm expecting for the price to go to the upside to mitigate this order block and then maybe we are going just heading towards downside yeah that was it guys so thank you for watching this video if you liked it hit a like button share with your friends and i wish you all the best peace